my god. This is the most beautiful cutting board I've ever seen in my entire life. Welcome back to the Red Truck Wood Shop. I made this cutting board for my daughter for her birthday. For several years, she's been asking me for a new cutting board. I made her a decently nice one many years ago, but uh, I wanted to step it up a bit. So as I was scrolling through YouTube, I found the woven cutting board done by Fisher Shop. He does an excellent job of showing you how to make this. This video is not about how to make this. This video is just documenting the birthday gift uh, for my daughter. So if you want to learn something, go to Drew's site. If you uh, want to just see how I did this, keep watching. Now, I made this out of five different woods. We got uh, Purple Heart, main Purple Heart on the outside here. And then we got uh, the light color is the maple. Medium brown is the cherry. You can see the reddish, that's the blood wood. And finally, you got the walnut there. So, uh, five nice hardwoods. This project is essentially a bunch of careful cutting and gluing. So, have fun watching. I started out by cutting the thin strips of maple with my thin strip jig and a zero clearance insert for my table saw. I also cut the strips of bloodwood, walnut, and cherry for the pieces that go in between. You'll see that as I'm gluing this together. I also want to point out the tape that you use here is important. Uh, regular masking tape did not work well. Uh, the blue painter's tape worked very well for me. Now you would think drawing a curved line would be easy, but I found drawing this curved line was actually just as hard as trying to draw a straight line.
when I took these pieces apart and matched them up with their mate, I ended up with a little bit of a problem here. When I overhung the one piece and made the cut, this little sliver stayed up here. So I started thinking, how am I going to fix that? And what I've decided to do is I'm going to glue this together just like it is. And then when I make my second cut, I'm going to cut around this so that it's not included in the next cut. Now the careful drawing to cut around that little sliver that I accidentally didn't get included. Now that I've got all the pieces cut and glued appropriately, it's time to put a good straight edge on these so we can start gluing them into the final piece. So I needed to do just a little more trimming to get these pieces to the right size for my final product. Here I'm just looking at all the pieces and seeing how they fit, trying to decide which one do I want to go where. Okay. 
I wanted to get the best edge possible for this final glue up. I don't have a jointer, I really would like to get one, but using my planer with the sled did a very good job. Happy birthday to you and many more. Hey, what do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what, could, what could it possibly be except the one thing that you've been telling me it is for months? That you've been asking for that for a I couple asked of years. For specifically, and that. You actually chose the wood that I wanted it to be made out of before I had even found that wood that I wanted it to be made out of. Oh, you just ruined the reveal. <laughs> Custom made box. I see you duct tape. Making it much harder on me. Oh my god. This is the most beautiful cutting board I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. Wow. You are an artisan. Thank you. How am I ever going to cut on this? It's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know. This is exceeded my wildest expectations thank you so much you're very welcome am i right that it's supposed to be waves like like the ocean if you see it that <laughs> way that's fine it was it was just made to be that way this is so incredibly beautiful